we're asked to determine the gradient vector field of the function of three variables, then determine the gradient vector at the point one comma negative one comma two. A gradient vector field can also be referred to as del f. So the gradient of the function of three variables is equal to the vector field with an x component of the partial of f with respect to x, which means we differentiate f with respect to x, treating y and z as constants. The derivative of six x to the fifth y with respect to x is equal to 30 x to the fourth y. And then we have minus the derivative of eight y cubed z squared with respect to x, which is zero, again, because we treat y and z as constants. And then we have plus the derivative of seven x squared z cubed with respect to x, which is 14 x z cubed. The y component is equal to the partial of f with respect to y. The derivative of six x to the fifth y with respect to y is equal to six x to the fifth. And then we have minus the derivative of eight y cubed z squared with respect to y, which is 24 y squared z squared. And the z component is equal to the partial of f with respect to z, which means we differentiate f with respect to z, treating x and y as constants. The derivative of six x to the fifth y with respect to z is zero. Then we have minus, or the opposite of, the derivative of eight y cubed z squared with respect to z, which is 16 y cubed z. Then we have plus the derivative of seven x squared z cubed with respect to z, which is 21 x squared z squared. Now we have our gradient vector field. We need to determine the gradient vector at the point one comma, negative one comma two, which means we substitute one for x, negative one for y, and two for z. And therefore the x component is equal to 30 times one to the fourth times negative one plus 14 times one times the cube of two the y component is equal to six times one to the fifth minus 24 times the square of negative one times the square of two. And the z component is equal to negative 16 times negative one cubed times two plus 21 times the square of one times the square of two. Simplifying each component, for the x component we have negative 30 plus 112, the y component is six minus 96, and the z component is 32 plus 84, which means the gradient vector at the point one comma negative one comma two has an x component of 82, a y component of negative 90, and a z component of 116. And remember, the gradient vector does give the direction of maximum increase of the given function at the point one comma negative one comma two. So let's finish by looking at this gradient vector and the given point in space. The point is graphed in black and this purple vector is a gradient vector at the given point, which means this vector indicates the direction of maximum increase of the function of three variables. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you